This movie leaves me asking a lot of questions. Like, why are the elephants so big? King Arthur Legend of the Sword stars Charlie Hunnam, Jude Law, and a bunch of other people whose names I have trouble pronouncing. And to twist on the King Arthur story, Arthur is raised in a brothel, and then when he pulls the sword out of the stone, he has to face his uncle in order to regain his birthright. Now, I'm a fan of Guy Ritchie's movies, but based off the trailers and stuff, I didn't know how to feel about this one, so I went in with an open mind, not knowing quite what to expect, and I got something very interesting. The movie definitely has its own style, and it's filled with Guy Ritchie-isms everywhere. One of the strengths of this movie is the dynamic between the characters. When they're just sitting around and sharing a story, that's where the movie really shines. That's the best parts. It's just very fast and quick cut, like this character, this character, this character, this character. And the story bounces around so fast that you're just having a great time watching them talk and have a great time while they're laughing and telling their stories to each other. Another positive thing out of this movie is that the world of King Arthur is super interesting and there's all these different creatures and monsters and all the stuff that he has to fight and all these different things and it's super cool. The sad thing is that we don't get a lot of it. The world they made was really cool and I would have liked to see more of it but they were focusing so much more on character we didn't really get a lot of world and you need to find the balance between that, and I don't think this movie did that very well. Performances in the movie, for what it is, is pretty passable. There isn't really a performance in the movie that's terribly bad, but there isn't one that really, like, shines out of the movie either. So it's kind of in that middle where everyone's just kind of meh. Another positive thing about this movie is a feeling of stakes. Like, there's actual loss and there's actual emotion, so there's things that I feel, but not to a great enough extent that it really does anything at the end of the movie or makes me feel like... Anything is going to happen, but there's a little bit, and it's there, so there's that. The first thing I want to talk about for negatives is the way the movie is edited. The movie isn't edited poorly like a movie like Suicide Squad, it's edited strangely. It's a very specific style, and I think in filmmaking it's all about having the right fit, and certain styles don't fit certain genres. So I don't think this editing style really fits the medieval fantasy genre that they were going for in this movie. So I don't think it kind of works, it kind of threw me off. Another negative thing is that there's a lot of unanswered questions in this movie, a lot of things that I would have liked to know or liked to have explored more, but never got any of. And I feel they maybe did that because they were hoping for a sequel, but I don't think a sequel is going to happen. So now I'm just going to not know all of these things that they set up. There's a part of the movie where Arthur has to go on this journey through the Darklands and he has to like go on this journey of self-discovery and they just kind of gloss over it and it's in a montage and he just like fights all these monsters and then boom, he's done. And I feel like this area could have been like a solid third of the movie and we could have seen him go on this journey of self-discovery. He could have learned these things about himself, learned these things about the world he's living in and we would have been better for it. But that's not how it played out, and I kind of wish that it would have. Another issue I have with the movie is the visual effects. There's a fight scene near the end that looks completely like a video game cutscene. Like, none of it looks real, it's all completely CGI'd. And I don't even think they were trying, because... I don't know. Not for a second did I buy that any of these things were real, it was all just computer images fighting each other. And that is super disappointing. I want things to feel real and look real, so that I have a better feeling of stakes. That's why I didn't feel as much as I could have, because everything just looks so fake, I don't know what's going on. So even though there is some enjoyment to be had in the film, there isn't a ton of it, and so I'm gonna say that King Arthur Legend of the Sword is kind of forgettable. Thanks for checking out my review, you can comment below, let me know what you thought of the movie, let me know what you thought of this review, you can give me a subscription if you haven't done so already, and if you have nothing else to do, go watch more movies.